हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम नमस्कार नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद एक्सचेंज रेट फ्लक्चुएशंस सो वेन यू रीड द न्यूज पेपर यू मस्ट बी कमिंग एक्रॉस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ डिवेल्युएशन ऑफ करेंसी रिवेल्युएशन ऑफ करेंसी डेप्रिसिएशन एप्रिसिएशन ऑल दीज कंसेप्ट you will find very frequently in news here let me start with all these concept in detail so we will discuss every concept with example with logic and along with that we will see the previous year question so let us start so the coverage of this session will be depreciation of rupee devaluation of rupee revaluation appreciation right so all this is related to the fluctuation in the exchange rate then we will discuss currency crisis and the hard currency the meaning of the hard currency <clears throat> so first one exchange rate what is the meaning of exchange rate so exchange rate basically means the value of domestic currency in terms of some foreign currency right so for the understanding purpose i would like to introduce one cons uh, one analogy over here right so just to read that this exchange rate basically means market price market price right just understand for the for the sake of understanding i am introducing this so don't read this exchange rate understand the market price right so what market price of what market price of foreign currency market price of foreign currency and where in the international foreign exchange market i know that you didn't get this point let me introduce so normally we have the market in the market there is buying and selling of the commodities for example we buy the rice wheat uh, chair computer air conditioner camera lighting tv so all the commodities are available and every commodity has a price right so this is the market price of the commodity so that is the market of the commodity now we are talking about the market of the foreign currency or market of the different currencies the currencies of different countries so uh, the currency of usa dollar currency of eurozone that is a uh, euro currency of india that is a indian rupee currency of uh, japan and so on so in the international foreign exchange market all the currencies are available for a price every currency has a market price every currency is available for sale and purchase and every currency has a price right so similar uh, similar to the commodity market there is a exchange market in the exchange market similar to the commodity price there is a market price of the currency also each and every currency is having the market price now coming to the exchange rate what is the meaning of exchange rate exchange rate is that rate at which home currency is exchanged for one unit of foreign currency or let us let us see home currency home currency basically means that is the indian rupee this is the symbol of indian rupee is exchanged for one unit of foreign currency what is the meaning of foreign currency for let us say for example us dollar right so rate at which home currency is exchanged for one unit of foreign currency or in other words how much indian rupee we need to pay to buy one unit of us dollar how much indian rupee we need to pay to buy one unit of foreign currency that is a indian dollar so that is a us dollar right suppose for example we need to pay 40 rupees 
so this 40 rupees represents that by paying the 40 rupees as the market price of US dollar we can buy one dollar so this 40 rupees exchange rate represents the value of one dollar right so when I say when I say rupee dollar exchange rate when I say rupee dollar exchange rate that basically means that how much rupee I have to give to buy one dollar this is the meaning of exchange rate how much domestic currency I have to give to buy one foreign currency unit this is the meaning of the exchange rate now let me introduce you to the term external value right so here I will give you a comparison let us compare so there are two terms one is the exchange rate of domestic currency another is the external value of domestic currency and friends please be careful when you are understanding the understanding this concept please be careful because this differentiation is going to going to be important in the entire discussion that we will de, we will do now onwards in this session right so this is the foundation of this lecture you can you can say that also so exchange rate so we just discussed that suppose i say rupee dollar exchange rate that means if I say rupees 40 per US dollar per US dollar so this is the exchange rate this is the exchange rate so this is the case one in the case one the exchange rate is 40 rupees for one dollar now in the case two let us say rupees 50 is equal to one dollar so now as compared to the case one the exchange rate has actually increased so there is an increase in the exchange rate now case three suppose rupees 60 rupees 60 one dollar per dollar that means again the exchange rate has increased exchange rate has increased now in the case four let us say exchange rate rupees is rupees 33 per us dollar so that means the exchange rate has decreased so this is how the exchange rate is increasing or decreasing right so in the first case we need to pay 40 rupees and we will get one dollar in the second case we need to pay 50 rupees and we will get one dollar in the third case we need to pay 60 rupees and we will get one dollar in the fourth case we need to pay 33 rupees and we will get one dollar right so friends now let us see what is the external value of domestic currency right external value of rupee in the case number one if rupees 40 can buy one dollar can I say that rupee 1 it can buy 1 upon 40 dollar that is 0 0.025 dollar yes so can I say external value basically means dollar to rupee exchange rate or how much dollar needs to be paid to buy one unit of rupee right how much dollar how many dollars needs to be paid to buy one unit of rupee so this is the dollar to rupee exchange rate so this is the external value of the 
डोमेस्टिक करेंसी एंड दिस इज द एक्सचेंज रेट ऑफ डोमेस्टिक करेंसी तो एक्सचेंज रेट दिस इज एक्सचेंज रेट एंड दिस इज द एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू सो केस नंबर वन में हमने बताया कि एक्सटर्नल एक्सचेंज रेट इज फोर्टी रुपीज पर डॉलर इन द केस वन एक्सचेंज रेट हैज इंक्रीज फ्रॉम वन डॉलर फिफ्टी रुपीज टू सो इन द केस टू द एक्सचेंज रेट हैज इंक्रीज फ्रॉम फोर्टी रुपीज टू फिफ्टी रुपीज एंड लेट एस सी एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू दैट मीन्स इन रुपी वन हाउ मेनी डॉलर सो एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू इज बेसिकली डिक्रीज एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू इज डिक्रीज इन केस नंबर थ्री एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट सिक्सटी दैट मीन्स जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन सिक्स सेवन इन द केस फोर एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री राइट सो यू कैन सी हियर एक्सचेंज रेट इज इंक्रीज फ्रॉम फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी एंड एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू इज डिक्रीज हियर एक्सचेंज रेट इज इंक्रीज फ्रॉम फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी हियर एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू इज डिक्रीज हियर एक्सचेंज रेट इज डिक्रीज एंड हियर एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू इज इंक्रीज एक्सटर्नल वैल्यू इज इंक्रीज सो वन थिंग दैट यू कैन सी कॉमनली that there is a opposite direction in which exchange rate of domestic currency and external value of domestic currency follows because this is the rupee to dollar rate and this is the dollar to rupee rate right so in the discussion that i that i will do now onwards please be careful whenever i say exchange rate is increasing please understand that rupee to dollar that is how many rupee we need to give to buy 1 dollar and when i say external value is decreasing that means the worth of rupee that how many uh, dollar it can buy in 1 rupee that is being discussed so exchange rate versus external value you need to be very much clear coming back so we discussed the concept of exchange rate versus the external value of rupee now exchange rate it varies depending upon the demand for and the supply of currencies demand for and the supply of currencies so for discussing this let us go back to the exchange rate regimes so we discussed the concept of exchange rate regimes that primarily there are two kind of exchange rate regimes one is the flexible exchange rate regime another is fixed exchange rate regime flexible and fixed flexible exchange rate is means where there is no intervention from the side of government and it is the market forces and when i say market forces the demand and supply forces demand and supply forces they are impacting the exchange rate exchange rate is determined through the demand and supply forces in case of fixed exchange rate there is an authority so authority can be the government or it can be the central bank so this authority it fixes the exchange rate and this exchange rate is fixed with reference to some dollar so it can be with respect to the us dollar or it can be with respect to the uh let us say Uh, gold or maybe euro or any currency any currency including the sdr of the imf so uh, this authority is fixing the value of the domestic currency with reference to the dollar so it it can say our currency is equal to 1 dollar or our currency is equal to uh, 0.5 dollar or our currency is equal to 0.1 dollar similarly it can link to gold or it can link to euro it can link to any one either of all these three right so this is how the two exchange rate regime works now in case of flexible exchange rate regime if there is fluctuation
if there is fluctuation in exchange rate and fluctuation will be, will be happening because of demand and supply forces only i will discuss this in the next uh, in the next slide so fluctuation in exchange rate regime it can be of two types one is depreciation that means the external value of the rupee is decreasing or it can be in the form of appreciation that means the external value of the rupee is increasing external value of the rupee is increasing right so this is one way another way can be through the fixed exchange rate regime and in this regime in this regime the fluctuation these are done by the authority only and if the external value is reduced that is called devaluation and if appreciation uh, if appreciation is done or uh, external rate external value is increased then this is called revaluation so devaluation is in correspondence to the depreciation and revaluation is correspondence to the appreciation right so these are the four major kind of fluctuation which we will be discussing in this session and before we discuss about that we need to first discuss this demand supply forces what are these forces and how are they impacting the price of the exchange rate right how are they impacting the exchange rate right so demand supply forces and how they impact the exchange rate coming back to the example that we that i took in the starting of the session that there are there is a commodity market where every commodity is having a price and we can buy the commodity at that price similarly there is a foreign exchange market where every currency is having a price and we can pay the price and we can buy the foreign currency right so there is a price for everything how is that price determined for determination of that price in the economy there are two laws one is law of demand another is law of supply i am repeating one is law of demand another is law of supply so there are these two laws right how these laws interplay with each other and how they determine the price that's a very long discussion right but how these law of demand and how these law of supply impact the exchange rate the price of the foreign currency we can see over here and for your understanding just consider that we are talking about a commodity we are talking about say 1 kg of rice so let us take the example of 1 kg of rice right so demand supply and price so just stay with me carefully uh, answer whatever i'm asking so in the case one in the case one let us suppose the price of 1 kg of rice is 40 the price of 1 kg of rice is 40 now if the demand of the rice increase in the market if the demand of the rice increase but supply remain same that is more people are demanding the same good so price will should price will increase or decrease price will naturally increase common sense so just think from the common sense don't think too much just common sense if if something is more in demand and supply is not increasing that means price will increase if demand is decreasing 
and supply is remain same then price will come down if supply increases and demand remains same that means price will come down because supply is increasing and demand is not increasing so more goods are available to the same number of people so people will start bargaining or the competitive supplier they will start producing the good and supplying at a low rate so the sale price will come down because there is excess supply and the demand demand is same in the next case if supply is decreased and demand remains same the price will go up right so we took the example of 1 kilogram of rice right the same example we can fit for rupee dollar exchange rate yes or no yes we can take it is very very clear no doubt about it we can take right so just understand from this slide that the demand and supply forces they are impacting the price the demand and supply forces they are impacting the price right this discussion should be very much clear to you now coming back now you might ask sir what are the factors which impact the demand and supply what are the factors which impact the demand and supply of the currency so these are the factors and I have already discussed these factors when I discuss the exchange rate regimes but again I will go through fastly and discuss with you so that you can recall the discussion right